All right, boys, I'm going to post this over there on Rimfire Central, my squirrel thread. This shooting stick right here. I'm going to put it down here on the ground and get a wider angle of it. You see that? It's 75 inches from the bottom to the bottom of that V right there. 75 inches. Now, some people may say, well, that's too long, sharpshooter. Okay, I'm five feet. Ten and a half, eleven inches tall. All right, so yeah, the stick's taller than I am. Okay, but you see what I can do with that stick? Put that rifle barrel up through there. Now I can tilt that stick out. I can tilt it back for elevation. Okay. Now, a typical walking stick. You know, they're generally about half of your body length, correct? Well, that's not going to help you in the woods, per se. It would on level ground, okay? But when you have to go downhill, this stick being as long as it is, I can go, imagine if this ground was sloping down. So I'm down here, got the stick out in front of me, and the extra length is usable, advantageous. So you can slip down slopes and use your arm strength holding this stick. You see me, you see my foot there, how I move my foot in the camera? So you can use this to ease down, okay? To, to control your momentum. You know, you got a rifle slung on your back, for example, or you're packing a rifle, you got a hunting bag, whatever, okay? Well, you're, you've got some extra body weight, so you've got momentum, okay? You've got possible momentum you have to control. You have to put your feet on the ground gingerly to stay quiet. Not to mention, this could keep you from falling, okay? It has, it has helped me a few times. Now, the same holds true when going up. You can use the stick behind you. See it back here? And you can sort of, as you step up, you can use your arms. and your, See, you're not just using your legs. You're using your legs and your arms to go up a slope and slip. Okay? Now... I'm going to caution everybody about squirrel hunting where you've got poisonous snakes like copperheads and rattlesnakes. Sometimes you'll get excited. I talked to a gentleman yesterday down here at this country store. He said they were shooting some squirrels and he's letting his little girl run and pick them up. Well, that's another advantage to this stick right here. Before you go picking a squirrel up, copperheads are really hard to see. Put this stick down there and move it around that squirrel. Make sure there's no reptiles down there. All right. Now, I'm going to show you one other thing about this stick. As tall as this stick is, here's one of the real big advantage of this stick. And we're going to use this tree right here as a demo. Now, yesterday, I lost some video with my handheld camera. And I still ain't figured out what's causing it. And the... Uh, Squirrel I shot, first squirrel I shot in that video, September the 2nd, afternoon. That squirrel was in a nosebleed section up on this steep hill. Okay, and I was leaning against a smaller tree, but we're going to use this tree here because it'll work too to show you what I'm talking about here. Alright, now you see how I've got that stick leaning there? I wonder if I was sitting right in there. See what I'm talking about? So you can actually, especially if you're on hills that's got a little slope to them, well, you can use the tree to rest your back on. But you don't have to do it on necessarily on a hill either. But see how this is? See, see when you get behind a tree, you're blocking your view. So I can sit right there, okay? And I can take this rifle, and I can move this stick. See how I moved it? So depending on what elevation I'm shooting a squirrel at, 
I can adjust that stick and I can actually be sitting in here like so. Okay, and there's that stick. And I can move around the tree with my body and move the stick accordingly. Okay. So, you know, you're taking a, this aids in your walking on, you know, tricky terrain. Helps you na navigate small gorges, ditches, big rocks, trees on the ground, big trunk trees. You can use this to help get across. Okay, this can help you cross a fence. And it can be used to shoot a squirrel now. You can set in behind a tree. I prefer a smaller tree. To simulate this is a tree about the size of a light pole. Well, see what you've got. You've got that on the side. Okay. So you could be sitting here, for example. Alright. And you've got that right there to use as a rest. Okay. Now, one, night, one thing about using this stick like I'm showing, it pays a lot of times not to get too close to your squirrels. Okay, but even, even if that happens, as long as this stick is, I can be sitting on the ground and hold this stick vertically like that right there and use it to rest my rifle on and get a shot off. You know, a wobbly shot's not too critical on a close shot, 10, 15 yards, right? I can pull them off on that old head even, boys. So this is really a good secret weapon right here, okay? And I've not seen anybody around here ever talk about one. And it's got lots of benefits. And you can get creative with it in the woods, Staking out squirrels, meaning you're going to go sit and watch. Or if you're going to sit for, or you see squirrels and you need to get in a position and you can't really, you ain't got shots yet, but you're anticipating shots. Maybe the squirrels are moving around. Well, you can be in position with that stick on a tree. Now, leaves off, I use a trigger stick. Okay. It's not in here right now. That's not the one I use. I use a short Primus tripod trigger stick. But that's not going to do you a lot of good with leaves on because the squirrels are a lot too, too high in the trees a lot of times. Okay. And you shoot a lot of squirrels off the ground with a trigger stick leaves off, unlike leaves on. Now you can shoot a squirrel with leaves on on the ground. I've shot a few this season. Okay. But I made this stick out of a tree pruner. I took half of a tree pruner, that's fiberglass. I put that on the top. I put that on the bottom. You don't want to know how many steps I've made with this stick right here. Now, I've not had this stick a long, long time. Okay. But this is handy as hell right here, boys. The sharpshooter can reach squirrels, especially in the afternoon when generally, you know, three, four, five o'clock in the afternoon, it's still sort of bright out and them squirrels are sort of wild, you know, well, you can sort of, you can see them with that HM2 and get, get a vantage point, set this baby up and go to town on them. And it's mobile, you know what I'm saying? You get to move it, meaning... If you set it up on your squirrel and he moves on you, you can move the stick. Okay? And you get used to it. That's not like shooting off a damn bench, you know, with one of these fancy ass wrists, okay? But when you get you get used to this in the woods, you know, a, a squirrel head even at 50 yards is not that critical of a shot when you think about it. You see what I'm saying? You touch that head with that V and T ammo I'm using, he's probably a goner for all practical purposes, unless you just nick him. That's going to conclude the video. I hope you enjoyed.